Yeah, more, 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 more. <laughs> Finally, we made it again on stage. It has been two years, and it's a great pleasure to be here again. For those who haven't had a coffee, I hope you stay awake for the next five minutes. It's a tough program. I'm Alexander Bowman, the co-founder and the CEO of Enerkite, a Berlin-based startup which harnesses the energy above the blade tips of two-day wind turbines by autonomous, automated kites. Energy drones, you can say. These... Uh, principle is, let me check, how do I get up, which button, this one, um, it tackles exactly the challenges of today's renewables, um, it is about making renewables cheap, again cheap, and reliable as fossil fuel, it is to provide electricity from green sources exactly where there is a demand, and to minimize the renewable footprint, that means protect the climate and protect the nature. And the goals we have is, of course, just mirroring this. Um, cheap means less than 2.5 cents per kilowatt hour. This is our long-term goal. This is the tip of the unicorn, I would say. But to be reliable means 50% capacity factor more. This is what we can already promise to our early-stage customers. And, of course, we are sustainable because we uh, use no tower and no foundation. We use only 5% of the resources. It is a scalable technology. It can become industrialized globally. What is it about high-altitude wind and kites? In 50 meters where today's small wind turbines operate, we have very, very few locations where we have enough energy in the winds. It improves when we go 100 meters, which is today's average hub height of wind turbines, but it is a totally different story if we go 200 meters. There we have maybe 40 to 50 percent more wind speed, but we have four times more energy content in the wind. And this is what we are tapping, these resources. We use the most efficient part of a wind turbine. We just cut the blades, the blade tips of the wind turbine. We tether it down, three tethers to the ground, and we generate electricity based on the uh, ground station, which also steers the kite and operates it. You can see it almost here is a small model. Um, it's a container solution in the first step, and it operates in 200 meters altitude. Um, this is the double of... Uh, traditional wind turbines, and it yields the double, and it halves the cost of electricity. It is many times more flexible because it's portable, renewable energy, and it has much more sites around the globe where you can use wind energy efficiently. And we have recently accomplished a study with a French utility company where we derived a model that calculates that we have a resource or access to energy which covers more than 100 times the electricity demand globally. How does it work? Um, I have to skip that technical part, but probably you can see it on the internet. It is flying aids with strong forces pulling a generator and then returning and spending much less energy on the recovery than on the operational phase, and all phases of operation are autonomous and fully automated. Um, this technology is about to be demonstrated now on the 40, 30 kilowatt level, the unit you can see here in Berlin or next uh, uh, to Berlin is our test site. We are achieving technological readiness level 6, 7 this year. We have a unique wing technology and we have a unique technology to launch and land the system. Scalability means to scale it up to 2 megawatt or more, but to start the business at the smallest possible scale. And this is for us a 100 kilowatt unit which goes into market entry segments, which is not the electricity utility scale market, but it is a market for diesel, which represents 3% of the global electricity demand. And there, in particular, diesel mini grids and exploration and mining. Our, that's why our first customers also mining companies, which operate in Germany and Chile. Uh, we have dialogues to people who operate grids in the islands. We look for applications in agriculture, in aquaculture as well. Desalination is a growing market which needs cheap electricity, and e-mobility is not only batteries, it's also hydrogen, that's why we work. And in the end, of course, rural electrification is the end of the story here. Uh, the positioning is obvious, cheaper than diesel, but almost as reliable as diesel. That means it's not the equation based on cost, it is an equation which is based on cost of electricity and capacity factor. And that's why we have a unique position, and this is what it illustrates. It's a generation profile of solar, of traditional wind, and energite. And all you see is red. That means we have baseload capability. 
we can provide energy continuously. Our entry products are here, and these are the two figures, and I uh, would put a few words towards our team, which brings this system up. This is uh, the roadmap we have. We are looking for four million in the first step for the next two years to build a function prototype and another six millions to go into the market. Um, so the four million is our goal for the end of this year. And we hope uh, we can convince not only by technology, but also by the team, which has expanded by now. We are now a group of 12 skilled people working together for more than 10 years. We have a large advisory board, um, and we have enough space in the partner list, as you can see, mining companies, and uh, we are also part of Vattenfall's Greenfield program and in dialogue with Engie. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>